Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a general knowledge quiz in Word using AI. So firstly, I'm just going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to go to this one here, which is chat.openai.com and just click. For this, you will need to log in. And once you do, you can simply type a question down here. So the prompt that you'll need for this quiz is to ask ChatGPT to list 20 general knowledge questions with a separate list of the answers. And just press enter. Okay, so you can see what's happened there. We've got a list of the questions and a list of the answers. So we're going to click and drag across all the questions and I'm going to press Command or Control C to copy them or you can right click and simply go down to copy. Then we're going to go back to Word and then we're going to go to the Home tab, go to Paste, click on the drop down and select Keep Text Only. Here you can see we've got all of those questions inserted and then what we're going to do is select all of the questions, go to Insert, table, click on the drop down, go down to convert text to table. Then within this box, we're going to select commas. We're going to select two columns and then select OK. So now all of the questions have been inserted into a table, but we need to move them across to the right hand side. So we're going to select all of the questions, click and drag over to the right and drop there we go, and now we're going to move this central line, just hover over it. When it changes to a double-headed arrow, click and drag across. And we're going to go into this box right at the very beginning here, and then we're going to press the return key a few times just to move the table down to enable us to put in a heading. Then these rows are a little narrow, so I'm going to select the table, go to layout, and I'm going to select one centimeter and press enter. So you can see all of the text is up at the top of your cell. So select the table by clicking on this top left icon, go to layout, and I'm going to select on center left. And then I'm just going to go to the home tab and increase the size of the font. I'm going to select this increase font size tool here and just click and then I just need to move this across a little bit to make that a square. There we go. And I'm just going to pop the numbers down here. And then I'm going to select this row here, go to layout and I'm going to put that text into the center. And then underneath each question, we will need space for an answer. So I'm going to click on the first row, make sure you're on layout. And we're going to go to cross this icon here that says insert row below and click. Now this is slightly laborious, but you will have to go through each one, selecting each question and clicking insert row below. So you can leave these rows like this, or you can select two cells, go to layout and select merge. Now I've actually created a shortcut key for this action. So if you want to do that, go to Tools, Customize Keyboard, go down to Table, and then here you can type in Merge. So go to Table Merge Cells, go to Press New Keyboard Shortcut, and I'm going to select Command or Control R. Now it says it's currently assigned to Para Right. Now I'm not particularly worried about that, but if you are, you can choose a different shortcut key and just click Assign. Once you've done that, click OK. And now if I just select these two cells here, press my shortcut key, Command and Control R, it will do all that merging for me, making this process a lot quicker. OK, so before we forget, I'm going to go to the end of the table, press my return key a few times. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to scroll down to the answers. And then I'm going to select all the answers. Command and Control C to copy back over and I'm just going to paste keeping text only. I'm going to move these down to a separate page so when you print it off people don't have the answers on the question paper. Then I'm just going to select them all 
I'm going to go to this icon here to number them and just select one of the options here. I'll just select this one here and there you've got them all numbered. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom, press the return key a few times so I can just put the answers uh, up here, just put a quick title and then we'll center it, underline it and increase the size of that title. And then on this page here, on the first page, I'm going to nudge this table down a little bit more so I could put a title in. But try to make sure that on the second page you have a question rather than an answer row. So I'm going to move it down to about there. I can move this up. Let's just select all of the return bars there. There we go. Move that up. So here I'm going to put a title in, I'm going to use a lot of this space, so I'm going to go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out the text box, and then put in my title, select my title, go to the home tab, I'm going to change the font to Atma, I'm going to increase the size of it, make it bold, I'm going to centre it, now the gap between the first line and this line here is a bit too much. So if I want to decrease that gap, I'm going to go to this icon here, go down to line spacing options, go to exactly, and here I'm going to put in 40 points and press enter. It just reduces that gap a little bit. If I deselect this, you'll see there's a line around the outside of the title. I'm going to get rid of that, select it, shape format, Go to this icon here, click on the drop down and select no outline. Now to make sure everything's centered, go to shape format, go to align, align to center, and that title will be centered to your page. If you do want to nudge this table down on the second page, you're going to have to split the table. To do that, select the cell at the top of this page, go to layout and go to split table and then go to the bottom of this page, you can see my cursor will now flash at that bottom of that page. Just press the return key and you can see I can nudge that down to match the first page. But again, let's take out those return keys for the answer page. Perfect. You can either copy and paste this title across if you want to, just press Command and Control C or select it and hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. And once again, you can put that onto this page. Again, you can go to shape format and make sure it's aligned to the center. If you want to put page numbers at the bottom, double click into the footer, go to headers and footers, go to page number, click on the drop down, select page number, and then just click OK. And there you have a page number at the bottom. Double click inside the main page of your document and you'll go back to editing this document here. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.